So welcome to Lawn Mowing Simulator. This game dropped on Steam today. This is the demo. Uh, and it is June the 16th. Uh, and it's on Steam for... When's it come off? 22nd, I think. So it's only on there for a short period. So if you want to try it out, you need to get straight on there uh, and give it a go. It's also on the Xbox thingy whatever that is I don't know what it's called I can't remember so basically I have no idea what any of this does I have not looked at it at all so it all seems to be keyboard activated I don't think the steering wheel works for it but we will find out as we go along So we'll start down here on the bottom left, create new career, save slot 1. So press enter, play with tutorials, I suppose we ought to, hadn't we? Um, let's get started, career mode. In this mode you can create your own lawn mowing company and build up its reputation. As you expand your company you can hire employees, purchase more mowers and unlock new contracts. But first, your company needs setting up with a name, logo, and uniform. Okay. So. Okay. How about that? Seabur Mowen. Um, now what? Company logo. Oh, okay, so we've got logos to choose from. Summit grassy. Oh, no, actually, I like that. The lawnmower. We'll have that. And then edit the player. So what can we do with that? Player appearance. On this screen, you can customize your in-game appearance of your player avatar as well as their physical appearance. You can change the colors of the company uniform and where your company logo is displayed. Okay. Uh, Seba. Player avatar. Well... As much as I'd like to be, I'm not female. <laughs> uh, looks a bit... I think probably that is the most fitting. Hat. Change hat. Well, because we're red. Red is the future. I'd like to confirm that red, please. This red? Wouldn't let me do it. With the enter key. Logo placement. Back only. Front only. Front and back. Yes. Uh, what's this one? Oh, uniform colours. Uh, red. That still won't let me choose enter for that. Um, I quite like that. Let's go with that. Got to be a bit different. Confirm. Start company. Accept. Test drive. Okay, so we've got the Steger Estate 2084H. 
we've got the Knight OFS1. Now this is, if you're familiar, if you're familiar with Farming Simulator, they have their own brand, which is the Lizard stuff, and this is um, the game's own brand. It's the Knight. It's actually a fantastic looking mower. Um, none of these we can have, but we'll just quickly go through them to see what we've got. So we've got the Stiga Tornado 6108HW, the, the Patterson ZTA1, the Skag Patriot 52, which would be 52 inch I imagine, the Toro Z Master, the Stiga Park Pro 540iX, Skag Turf Tiger 2, the Knight OFT, that's interesting, the Toro Z Master 7500D, the Toro Pro Line H800, and the Toro Browns Master 3300. That's what we have so far in the game. I don't know whether we can progress onto any of anything else. So I think what we're we gonna go with. Let's go. That doesn't look like it's got a collection box, although this this uh, this big configuring thing here looks like it might be. It's a oh yeah, it says here it's a mulcher. Um, yeah, let's go with the let's go with the home brand. So we want to test drive it. So, welcome to the test drive area. Here you can familiarize yourself with a particular vehicle in conditions similar to a real contract. Approach the vehicle to get on it. Use WASD to move and the mouse to look around. Like I say, I don't think this is steering wheel compatible yet. Although, as far as I do know, it is in the pipeline. So I just saw there that we have got a bit of familiar giants jumpiness. This is really... sketchy it doesn't flow very nicely at all we can strafe side to side using our arrow keys also and our arrow keys we can also walk backwards and forwards and then obviously with any other wow that is just crazy okay let's uh, let's give this a whirl so f to get onto it vehicle startup career mode uh, once you are on your vehicle, you will need to get it started and onto the grass. Each vehicle is slightly different to get going. Follow the steps to get it started at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Start the engine, hold Z or Z to start the vehicle's engine. And the mouse works backwards to how you would normally wanted it to, like farming simulator. So you have to pull down to go down. And it's, it feels weird. It feels a bit weird. It doesn't feel very flowy. You can't zoom in and out. Anyway, let's get it started. Increase throttle. Use I and T to change the vehicle's throttle setting. Okay, so it's basically you push it, you just push it once and it changes it up or down. Lower the cutting deck. Use Q to lower and raise the cutting deck. To accelerate, press W 
and S to brake. It's really hard. to maneuver that. Change the cut height, use E and C to change the cut height. Uh, and down in the bottom right hand corner you can see it's got cut height. So it's 2.53 I'm guessing that's inches or centimeters, one or the other. Uh, let's go for let's go for 3.5. To engage and disengage the cutting blades, press Z. That doesn't seem like it's working. Okay, once on the grass, you now need to get your deck ready by first setting the cut height and then engaging the cut, cutting blades. You should only ever turn on your blades when on grass, otherwise you will damage them and affect their ability to cut. Seems like this mower is a duff one, I don't think I want to buy it because the The blades won't turn on. Oh, we can change the view by pressing V. Let's see if it's got a help thing here because it's not overly wonderful. So, steering and movement. Mouse is the camera, which is really sketchy. Um, left shift sprint okay so we can run left control is pro view hold reset camera w accelerate s is brake and reverse v is change camera z is start engine and you need to hold it and z is to start blades by just pushing it F is interact, E, C is change the cut height, T and I is the throttle, and Q is lower the deck for front mount vehicles only. And to dismount, you need to hold it. Okay, so. The grass a certain height, each contract will have its own height. The grass needs to be cut too. Set your cut height within the range of 5 cm to 6 cm and cut 10% of the grass. Okay. While cutting you can track your progress with the bar in the top right corner. The progress bar shows you how much of the required amount you have to cut, or you have cut. Grass cut at the correct height fills the bar white grass that is cut too short fills the bar with red. Okay, so we need to change the height, which was E and C. We want it, let's do it, let's do it at 6, maybe. It's cutting. Not the easiest thing to do with a keyboard.
Let's go around and do the headland, shall we? <laughs> let's change the view. So let's go out, all the way out. So this game is due to come out as it says in the summer of 2021 well I feel that it's the summer now so I don't really know whether there's a delay I do understand that they're still actually working on things for the game let's not crash into stuff Siba that would be bad news By holding control, you can engage Pro View, which highlights areas of grass that have been that have not been cut to the required height. This is useful for when you are trying to find the last bit of grass to cut the complete contract. That's good. So control gives us Pro View, which shows us what's not been cut. Cool. Second moon. This definitely needs to be um, compatible with steering wheels 100%. I'm a bit disappointed actually because obviously this game has been developed for PCs and Xbox only. It's not coming to PlayStation as far as I know, which is a little bit unfortunate because it's, it's nice to nice that everybody can be able to play on games but it's understandable because not all platforms want to have specific games and things so you know I understand it but it's a shame so let's have a look at this control thing then ah okay There was a collision there with that post. But yeah. So that brings it up all white. And we're nearly done anyway on the progress bar at the top, but I think we need to get it past the yellow bit. I would imagine that we need to get right up to the edges and get the whole edges and it's or else it's just gonna have a a bit of a hissy fit at us with not doing it. Oh, here we go. Cutting complete. Return the vehicle to the trailer to complete the contract. That was a very short contract. Great work. In a real contract, however, you will be expected to cut all of the grass. Excellent. When a contract has been completed, you have to drive your vehicle back onto the trailer to end it. I understand. Cool. So, how did we turn this off? What is it? Uh, deck. Lower deck. Uh, it is Z to turn the deck off and Q to lift it up. So, what was that weird thing? Did you see that weird thing that he just did? That was that was pretty odd. Did it again. Let's drive over there, not cut grass. It's a pretty slow little thing. 4.4 miles per hour. And there we go. So that is the test drive of the night done. Um, after completing the test drive you can now purchase the vehicle or if you would like you can test drive the other vehicle that is available. Uh, okay, uh, I, think, I think we'll go with the night. So are you sure you want to purchase the night? 
for £2,750. That's pretty cheap. This action cannot be undone. Yeah. So there we go. We've bought our first lawnmower. Select the contract. This is the contract map where you can see available contracts to select and start. Now your company is set up and you have a mower. Select the contract button at the bottom of the map to open it for setup. Okay, so front garden of Old Nook Cottage. Front garden of Old Nook Cottage, £330. I'm, I'm in the wrong business. Complexity. So we've got complexity which runs between the five star system uh, and this is a one star. Uh, and then we've got reputation here which will gain us 50 points on the reputation. Over here to the right we have contracts and overview. Um, Monday, March the 1st, 2021, the contract assigned. First contract. Employees assigned, we have none. The player must be assigned to a contract for, with a vehicle. Uh, no vehicles assigned, obviously. And projected earnings are zero. But we're going to do this one. Contract setup. Once you select the contract, you can see information about its value and requirements. If you wish to accept the contract, you first need to assign an employee and vehicle. Select either the employee or vehicle option to the left next to the left next what some vocabulary appears to be missing from here um, so employee assign an employee contracts need an employee assigned to them to be attempted at the minute the only employee you have is you but that will change as your company grows. Highlight yourself and then confirm the assignment to the contract. That is me. And then the vehicle. Contract needs a vehicle assigned to basically the same thing. We need to select the vehicle. Okay, so confirm the contract. Now the contract has both an, em an employee and vehicle assigned. You need to confirm the contract. Once a contract is confirmed with both an employee and vehicle, you can start it. Cool. So, completion target is 99% cut. Contract type is a general cut. The cutting height, these are all very important things we need to remember for when we go to do it. So the cutting height is between 5 and 6 centimeters. Ground check time limit. I have no idea what that is, so we'll be finding that out, I'm sure. Recommended cut time is 26 minutes. Recommended deck width is 100 centimeters. Current grass range is 3 centimeters to 20 centimeters. Uh, not 3, 13 centimeters to 20 centimeters. Okay, so we will confirm. We will confirm the contract and um, see what happens. Start your contract. As you set up a confirm contracts, their pin on the map will turn yellow and the contract that you are assigned to will have a star displayed. With the first contract confirmed, you can start it and head to the location to the beginning to begin cutting. So let's go. Front garden, Old Nook Cottage. Cut requirement, 99%. Yeah, we, we've already been through all that. So we've got to cut this. Very nice little video of what we've got to do. Beautiful cottage. Beautiful garden. Trees, apple tree. Fox gloves. I don't know what those flowers are. I don't know what those ones are, but they look nice. So, 
ground check phase career mode. Uh, I need to stop saying career mode, Zebra, stop it. At the start of each contract, you have a small period of time to find and remove any objects on the grass area that could either be damaged or damage your vehicle. You can choose to skip the ground check and have the objects automatically removed by interacting with your mower. But this will mean you don't earn any oh, okay. You don't earn any reputation points if you don't do that. So we really do Okay, so that is glitch number two. Let's hope it hasn't damaged my mower. Um, oh, wow. Nice. I think I might need to change the mouse sensitivity. Might help a little bit. So where are we going? That is our lawnmower there. Uh, notification. We don't need to recover it. So which lawn are we cutting? We're cutting this one. So we need to. F to pick it up. We basically just go around the yard, garden, and see what there is. I can see something over there. So to sprint. F to pick. What is that? That's your garden shears that you lost, love. Well done. Looks like they nicked that from the from the um, from the bus shelter. We're not going in there. It's very. Yeah, I'm going to keep saying it because it, it is, and it, it's actually, it's bothering me a little bit. But when you're using the mouse to look around, it's very, hmm, it is no fluidity. Oh, apparently there are, there is another object. Lovely. Dog poo. <laughs> Excellent. Kind of wish that I didn't bother with that one. Actually, I am glad that I did bother with that one. I sort of gone up in my mower. Okay, so how do I sprint? Oh, right. Shift. Oh. Don't know what that means. Uh, F. With the ground check complete, it's time to start cutting some grass. Start up your vehicle and drive over to the lawn to begin. Zebra's got to remember how to start it up. It is hold down Z. It is not happy here at all. It won't move if you don't give it any throttle. No. So you need to give it full throttle to get her moving. Q to lower the deck. Z to turn it on. Oh, contract performance. Your, perform your performance during cutting will affect how much money and reputation points you earn from the contract. You need to find the balance between speed and careful driving. Avoid damaging the flowers or lawn while cutting quickly to earn a time bonus. A 
Okay. Have we got we haven't got the height set right. So that was C and V. No, it wasn't it wasn't V. It was E. Let's cut it at six so that they get us back next week. I kind of want it to scroll in like Farming Simulator does on the mouse so that you can get in close or not close. really needs a steering wheel or a proper joystick at least but we are mowing grass missed a bit there that'll be alright that'll go into our one percent that we can miss nobody saw that Nobody saw that. Hopefully they're going to have things like strimmers, or as some people call them weed whackers. But it's... Oh, that was not cool. Do not smash your mower up. push mowers so that you can get into those hard to get into bits That's a bit better, a bit further out, a bit easier to see. So I wonder if there is a gear selection, because I know that you can change, you, you know, a lot of mowers have gear speed selections on them. But, I don't know. The graphics, the graphics are really good. The grass doesn't look overly realistic, but the graphics themselves, you know, the the um, the models and and like the trees and everything like that look really good from where I'm sitting anyway. So I think to save us some time, I'll just time lapse going around this. If anything obviously interesting pops up, then I'll stop and we'll talk about it. But yeah, we'll just we'll just time lapse through to get the lawn cut.
So there we go. Uh, we have a cutting complete message. So with the cutting complete, you now need to drive back to the trailer to leave the location. If you have time left, you can use it to clean up any grass clippings you may have left on the paths to avoid any cleanup fees. I don't think I have the tools to do that, do I? I want to get this last bit of grass. I'm not going to leave it with a little mohawk, am I? So. Yeah, I think any other tufts that there may be. Um, will be fine. So I only actually destroyed one flower. I, um, I caught it as I was turning around and I got a little heads up thing for it but I missed what it actually said. So confirm and lawn mowing simulator. Right, so that is our first contract done. And on our overview, what do we have? So we got plus 70 um, RP, which is reputation points. Um, we made 340 pounds, 46 pence. We need to make 590 and 46 by the looks of that. And then the overview, the overview here. So the vehicle, we've got some damage to it. Fuel, obviously, we've used fuel. The blades have had a little bit of damage. The engine, no damage at all, no wear on it or anything like that. So we've got a ground check time bonus of two pounds twenty-three. We've got a ground check earnings of twenty pounds. Cutting time bonus is nineteen pounds seventy-four, and valuables recovered is zero. So obviously, we didn't find anything valuable like. I'm guessing a watch or a necklace or something like that, possibly. I don't know the full ins and outs of it. Penalties and fines, £11.51, that would be for um, the next two things that we see on here. So we've got ground ground objects destroyed with no, no penalty for that, but the flower, obviously that was a pound, killed that, it, it got eaten by my blades. Uh, uh, collisions, well we saw those when I was trying to get into those little bits and I was talking about the possibility of maybe having a strimmer or a little mower to do those, that would be nice. I don't know whether we, there is that later on in the game or not. So that was £10.51 and then we had cleanup fee, zero, ground damage, zero, incorrect cut height, penalty, zero, and vehicle maintenance is zero. So I think we'll end this episode here. Um, and I will go through I will go through as much of the demo as I can and we'll just see how far we can get in the demo I'm, I, I think as far as I understand there are only actually two contracts that we can do so this may just be a two video situation but I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna cover it as best as I can and explain everything that's going on where it's going on when it happens I'm really interested in this game. I think it has an awful lot of potential. And hopefully the guys will listen to what everybody says to them in the discords and their 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 little things that they have their chats in. I will be putting my thoughts forward for it. But yeah. Please stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. May the weather be with you.